Have you imagined what happens after death? Have you ever considered what comes next? Beyond the Veil, a journey into the unknown, death. It is the ultimate mystery, the final frontier, a journey into the unknown. What lies beyond the veil? What happens to us when we die? These questions have haunted humanity since the dawn of time. Carl Jung, the renowned Swiss psychiatrist, offered a unique perspective on this enigma. He believed that death is not an end, but a transformation. Jung's view of the afterlife is not about pearly gates or fiery pits. It is a journey into the depths of our own unconscious, a process of individuation, of becoming whole. Jung believed that the unconscious is a vast and mysterious realm, holding the key to our true selves. Imagine a vast ocean filled with hidden depths. This is the unconscious mind, a place where our deepest fears and desires reside, where we connect with something larger than ourselves. By exploring this realm, Jung believed we can unlock the secrets of life and death. His ideas about death are not just theoretical, they are rooted in his own experiences. He had a near-death experience that profoundly changed his view of life and death. He realized that death is not something to be feared, but something to be embraced. Jung believed in a collective unconscious, a shared reservoir of human experience that connects us all and is passed down through generations. This collective unconscious is not just a repository of memories, but a living dynamic force that influences our thoughts, emotions and behaviours. It contains archetypes, universal patterns of thought and behaviour that shape our understanding of the world. These archetypes are the fundamental building blocks of the human psyche, influencing everything from our dreams to our myths and even our daily interactions. The afterlife, for Jung, was not a literal place but a state of being, a realm of archetypal energies where the individual soul merges with the collective unconscious. This merging is a profound transformation, a return to a more fundamental state of existence Imagine a drop of water falling into the ocean, becoming one with the vastness. This metaphor captures the essence of Jung's vision of the afterlife, where individuality dissolves into a greater whole. This is how Jung saw the soul's journey after death. The soul's journey is not a solitary path, but a collective experience, intertwined with the journeys of countless others. Jung believed that our dreams offer glimpses into the afterlife, connecting us to the collective unconscious, revealing hidden aspects of ourselves and guiding us on our journey of individuation. Dreams are the bridge between the conscious and the unconscious, offering insights and guidance from the depths of our psyche. Pay attention to your dreams. They may hold messages from beyond the veil. These messages can provide profound insights into our spiritual journey and our connection to the collective unconscious. Jung's concept of the afterlife challenges traditional views, encouraging us to see death as a transformation, not an end, but a beginning, a return to the source of all being. This perspective invites us to embrace the mystery of existence and the interconnectedness of all life. In this view, the afterlife is a continuation of our spiritual journey, a deeper exploration of the collective unconscious and a profound connection with the universe. It is a state of inner peace and unity where the boundaries between self and other dissolve. The afterlife then is part of the eternal cycle of life, death and rebirth a cosmic dance that unites all of existence in a harmonious whole. Throughout history, cultures have grappled with the concept of death. Ancient Egyptians believed in mummification, filling tombs with treasures, believing in a rich afterlife. The Greeks envisioned Hades, an underworld ruled by a god. 
these beliefs reflect a human desire for continuity, a longing for life after death. Jung's ideas resonate with these ancient beliefs. He saw the afterlife as a journey, a process of judgment and transformation. Consider the Egyptian weighing of the heart ceremony. It echoes Jung's concept of the shadow self. We must confront our darkness to embrace our wholeness. Eastern religions like Buddhism and Hinduism also share similarities with Jung's views with reincarnation, karma and the cycle of life and death being central to these traditions. Jung saw these beliefs as symbolic representations of the soul's journey, where we die and are reborn, shedding old layers and embracing new beginnings. These cultural echoes highlight the universality of the afterlife concept. Whether literal or symbolic, the idea of a journey beyond death offers solace and meaning, connecting us to something greater than ourselves. Indigenous cultures often view death as a transition, with shamanic journeys guiding souls to the afterlife. In Mexico, the Day of the Dead celebrates the lives of the deceased with altars and offerings to honour their spirits. The Tibetan Book of the Dead provides rituals to guide the deceased through the bardo, a state between death and rebirth. These diverse cultural practices underscore a shared human quest to understand and navigate the mystery of death. Glimpses from the other side near-death experiences. Near-death experiences or NDEs provide compelling glimpses into the afterlife. People who have had NDEs often report similar experiences. They describe a sense of peace, light and love. They encounter deceased loved ones. They experience a life review. While science may debate the physiological explanations for NDEs, Jungian psychology offers a different perspective. These experiences can be seen as symbolic journeys into the unconscious. They are encounters with archetypal energies. They offer profound insights into the nature of reality. Consider the case of Dr. Eben Alexander, a neurosurgeon who had a profound NDE. His experience transformed his worldview. He went from a staunch atheist to a believer in consciousness beyond the brain. His story, along with countless others, challenges our assumptions about life and death. NDEs through a Jungian lens are not just medical anomalies. They are powerful reminders of the soul's resilience. They are glimpses into the transcendent realm that awaits us beyond the veil. Many who have experienced NDEs describe a journey through a tunnel of light. This tunnel often leads to a place of overwhelming love and peace. Some report encounters with celestial beings or guides. These experiences often result in profound personal transformations. They challenge our understanding of consciousness and existence. Through a Jungian lens, NDEs are seen as powerful, transformative experiences. They remind us of the resilience and depth of the human soul, and they offer a glimpse into the transcendent realm that lies beyond the veil. Through the valley of grief, transformation and rebirth. Grief is a universal human experience. It is the raw, visceral response to loss. Jung saw grief as a necessary part of the individuation process. We must confront our pain to heal and grow. He believed that by embracing grief, we can connect with the deeper meaning of life and death. Imagine a seed buried in the darkness of the earth. It must surrender to the process of decay before it can sprout new life. Grief, like the earth, can be a fertile ground for transformation. It forces us to confront our mortality. It allows us to connect with the eternal cycle of life, death and rebirth. The story of Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, a pioneer in the field of death and dying, illustrates this transformative power of grief. Through her work with terminally ill patients, she identified the five stages of grief, denial, 
anger, bargaining, depression and acceptance. Her work highlights the importance of honouring each stage of the grieving process. By embracing our grief, we honour the memory of those we have lost. We open ourselves to the possibility of healing and growth. We begin to understand that death, like life, is a natural part of the human experience. Transformation and rebirth are not just metaphors, but realities of our existence. Just as a caterpillar must dissolve into a chrysalis to become a butterfly, we too must undergo profound changes. These transformations are often painful, but they lead to new beginnings. The river of life flows through us, carrying us from one stage to another. Rebirth is the promise of renewal, the assurance that life continues in new forms. In the cosmic dance of creation and destruction, we find our place in the universe. From the ashes of our old selves, new life emerges. Embracing transformation allows us to see the light beyond the darkness. Together, we can navigate the valleys of grief and rise anew. In community, we find strength and the courage to transform. And in transformation, we find the essence of rebirth. The eternal return, life, death and the cycle of being. Jung's vision of the afterlife invites us to embrace life's eternal cycle. Death is not an end, it is a transition. It is a return to the source, it is a chance for renewal. This perspective can be both comforting and empowering. Imagine a river flowing into the ocean. It merges with the vastness, only to evaporate and return as rain, replenishing the earth and beginning the cycle anew. This is the essence of Jung's concept of the eternal return. We are all part of this interconnected web of life. The beauty of Jung's philosophy lies in its ability to connect us to something larger than ourselves. It reminds us that we are not isolated beings. We are part of a um, vast and interconnected cosmos. Our lives have meaning and purpose, even in the face of death. What happens after we die? The answer may forever remain a mystery, but by embracing Jung's vision of the afterlife as a transformative journey, we can approach death with courage, curiosity and a sense of wonder. We can live our lives more fully, knowing that death is not the end, but a new beginning. Discover the beauty beyond the veil. Carl Jung's vision of the afterlife offers a profound and comforting perspective on our eternal journey. Embrace the idea that the dissolution of our time-bound form brings no loss of meaning but a glorious continuation. Dive deep into this transformative wisdom and find peace in the eternal cycle of life. If you enjoyed this content, press the like button and subscribe for more content.